hello guys today i will show you how you can update the software of model starset sr t15 hd extreme okay so this is the website of cwdw.net and there is another website named swdw.net so these are the two websites where you can download the softwares uh, of starset and those are the best and original softwares for all the starset devices so if i go to cwdw.net and if i can found control f and t15 so here we can see t15 hd or hd extreme so because of today we are looking for t15 hd extreme otherwise i know the location of this software is in section 5 and this is the software's sr t15 hd extreme if I go inside, I can see the multiple variants of the same software on this website and the another website, swdw.net. If I search from here, T15, I can also see the several variants of the same software. If I click the latest software download button, the file will be downloaded in my PC. And after that, I need to copy the file into the USB, the USB I, which I have attached. Uh, with my PC let me open up. So this is the USB drive and I am going to copy the software which I have copied uh, I have downloaded from the website So here is the zip file, but zip file cannot be readable in the receiver the receiver only read the bin file for the software so I need to right click and extract here or I can go to the more option and extract here. The file is going to be extracted and here is the folder which is extracted from this zip file. If I go to inside the folder, I can see the bin file is here. So we need this bin file for the receiver. So let me unplug the USB. I will go back to the USB and eject the USB from here. Okay, the USB is ejected from the PC. Now I unplug the USB and going to turn on my receiver. Just bear with me for one second. Okay, so here is the receiver. I just turn it on and I'm going to plug the USB right now or maybe after, no problem. I just plug the USB and this is the first screen you can see whenever you turn on your receiver for the first time okay so I will press exit button and I will go to the menu and if I go to the system settings and go to about STV here we can see the software version is 1.02 while the software which we have downloaded now is 1.12 i mean it is 1.12 now it is 1.02 so let's going to okay let's go to install or update the software exit exit and go to usb control okay usb menu it is showing no file so maybe the usb is not plugged properly i will unplug the usb and plug it back again and open the USB menu again. It is showing no disk. Or uh, yes, it will take a little time, I think, to read the USB. Initializing USB disk, and here we go. Okay, so this is a zip file, but a zip file cannot be readable in the receiver. So this is the folder which we have extracted from the from the zip file. I open the folder, and here is a software gxrom.bin. And here you can see all this description of the file on the size of this file uh, okay this is the shortest method of to find to found the software or update otherwise if you have multiple files in your USB and including this zip uh, this bin file and if you are surprised that how long it will take you to found the software better to go uh, click uh, right arrow uh, key from your remote control so it will switch from stream movies music as you can see on these uh, thumbnails 
now we are in music so all the music file will be shown over here go to picture or software if we go to the software as you can see it will scan all the usb and it will uh, just show you the softwares only within this usb okay so after this usb i found the software i press ok after pressing ok it will show a warning message so you want to update the software or database by default it is no so we need to press right or left arrow key to convert it from no to yes okay see if i'm pressing any right or left arrow key it is changing the yes to no or no to yes it is toggling so i, I switch to yes and press ok again now oh, it's updating the software it's very important that you do not power or turn off your receiver uh, or do not switch off your electricity if in case during the operation if your electricity cut it off or your receiver or your receiver powered off or you switch off the receiver uh, power off the receiver your receiver will be bricked and it is a long process to uh, get this receiver alive so it's very important that you make sure there is no distortion on the plugs of electricity or there is no chance for electricity to goes off or any kind of other chance to get this receiver off during the software updation so it is 100 percent i think the sgb will be rebooted now the receiver is going to be rebooted just wait for a few seconds yes now it's going to turn on this is the first screen of star set after the rebooting okay here you go so this is the first screen again which we have seen before so this is the very first screen when you turn off turn on your receiver for the first time so after uh, updating the software it is very important for you to uh, reset this receiver as a factory default okay so, so going to factory default you must need to go to the channel manager the second thumbnail and go to the second last option factory defaults if you press this one it will ask you the password by default of this receiver the password is zero 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 okay now it is asking which kind of service you want to be factory default if you select all or channels only review channels or scramble channels only i will go for all by default the answer is no we will switch to the yes as we have did before like right or left arrow keys and then press yes or okay from your remote button it will take a little few seconds and that's it now your receiver is totally ready and you can enjoy all the services of this receiver hope you enjoy thank you have a nice day bye bye